Oh, there we go. Oh no, golly. Wow, big bass behind it. Oh, I got him, I got him. I just met up with the family. Now I'm gonna try to come over here and catch a few fish. Hopefully bring back a little Guadalupe bass actually to drill up. There's a whole bunch of Guadalupe bass in here so I definitely won't be hurting the population to take a couple of those out of here. Wow. I'm very surprised I haven't got bit at all yet. I mean, I'm not very far from people obviously but and there's nobody down here right now and there's plenty of shad and bluegill and whatnot so i imagine there's bass right here i'm actually just not seeing any though man i'll tell you what though this river has been very very weird to me the last few times i've come to it i used to crush them in this river all the time and the last few trips have just not been it at all so I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be as surprised considering what has happened lately, but golly, I just don't know what has happened to this place. This is a nice blow up. Let's see what we got here. I think it's a little guad. Yep, there's a Guadalupe bass that I will be taking back to cook up. That's the perfect little eating size right there actually. Golly, I think I might have just spooked a bunch more fish right there too. Perfect little eating size guad though. Take this little, take this little sucker back and throw him on the grill. Put them. I was just gonna slide them up underneath my seat right there, but you know what? He's got a hole in his lip right here that so I can stick that in there and just toss him over the side. So that's what I'll do with him for now. Hmm. A bunch more people in kayaks here. Turn around and there's four kayaks behind me. Or I guess three kayaks, four people. There's two people in that one. Wow, so this place could get a whole lot of pressure. That could be another problem I'm facing here. How y'all doing today? Good. Just yeah, I just, just put it at the bridge. Yeah. How about you guys? Y'all just start? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Y'all been catching them pretty good today? Yeah. Any good ones? Oh golly, I bet that's fun on that fly rod, huh? Some people might clown me or say I'm a hypocrite. If you've ever seen me on Facebook or anything, criticizing people for keeping bass. And if you just look at it on the surface, I could see how you could come away with that being the case. But if you pay close attention, I fully support what I consider responsible bass harvesting. Now that doesn't just mean legal, as far as I'm concerned. There's lots of things that are legal to do that are not morally 
correct or philosophically correct or anything like that. I mean, you can be a complete jerk to other human beings. That's legal, but that's not okay. Same thing with harvesting bass. There is legal ways to harvest bass in certain bodies of water that I think are still irresponsible. There's not individual rules for different ponds and stuff usually here in Texas or rivers or you know they don't really go off of body size of water they just say five fish all across the board but in a lot of bodies of water if you keep five good fish five good sized bass that were the spawning brute for that particular body of water and there's not a whole lot of them in there you have just ruined or at least greatly depleted that body of water at least for a time period you're, you're definitely hurting the place you're not helping it a place like this big wide open hill country river that has a ton of little guadalupe bass like that in it you're not going to hurt anything taking a few guadalupe bass out of a big giant place like this Or if you're going to go to a place like Amistad or Falcon or Choke Canyon, a place that has just a whole lot of good bass population in it. Or even a place like Medina Lake. If you want to go keep 5 14 inches out of there, I fully support that too. It has a lot of little fish in that lake. It could stand to lose some of the little guys. Well, something I didn't think about. <laughs> put this fish right here on this deal but I forgot that's my clip for my waistband so I have to figure out something else for him here I think we're just gonna throw him in here for right now fit in that little box yeah you will all right <laughs> there he goes in there again I didn't see these people in their kayaks really slow down and fish this little side over here so I'm gonna go ahead and come over here and fish this other little little nugget I like to call them just these small little backwaters oftentimes actually has some really nice fish in it Oop. all right as I said that little gua just followed me out from that corner a little worm at him in just a second probably would have eaten my whopper plopper he just ran out of time just a such, such a short little run right here oh man I'm hung up on something oh that little branch right there are you kidding me oh come on there we go let's try that again such a short little spot right here for him to run up and eat it. He just never got to it in time. And I think he actually kept going this way after he followed it. Ah, bad cast. I think he kept on swimming down river, downstream right in there. Surprised not at least getting a little bit lippy bite right there. Move on down to this little backwater right here. This is the first good backwater like this that I've seen. I'm interested to see what we 
see back in here hopefully hopefully gonna see some spawning bass is what i'm really hoping for oh wow yeah see a bunch of tilapia up in here it's not a good sign my experience usually on rivers anyway when you see a bunch of tilapia in the backwater like that ooh, oh no i'm sitting here talking again this fish eating my bait anyway like i was saying usually when there's tilapia in these backwaters it's my experience that the bass aren't in there but golly oh golly that was another nice blow up but that one completely missed the bait I felt that first one for just a second. That second one there completely missed my bait. Come on, get a hold of it. Oh, they don't want the worm again. Seems like that's the theme of the day. They're just wanting to eat that top water. Wanting to blast it anyway, not really wanting to eat it. I've missed way more than I've caught. This water up in here is pretty darn warm compared to that main river I'd say if there was going to be any late spawners there would definitely be some up in here ooh there we go oh no golly Wow, big bass behind it. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got both of them. Oh my gosh. Wow. God dang it. I had two. Oh my gosh. I'm going to hook this one real quick. I hooked the other one for a second. Oh my gosh. And then he just kept swimming out this way. That was two big bass with him. There they are right there. They're not dumb enough to fall for it now, but... Oh my gosh. Gee whiz. Little largemouth came out from underneath there and smashed it. Oh my gosh. There was two big girls behind it. I freaking hooked one of them for a second too. I hooked one of the bigger ones. I had two fish on. I was hoping that would happen. I was letting that little one swim around right here. Hoping one of them would try to eat it out of his mouth and he did. And I had them both hooked for a second. And then the big one came off. Oh my gosh. That would have been amazing to land both those fish. It was pretty darn amazing to get them both to bite, I would say. Just to get that second one to bite was pretty darn crazy. But gosh, I wish I would have been able to show you how big that fish was. The two with them were freaking big fish. I mean, they I think they were like five or six pounders. They were both big, big fish that were with that little guy. Oh my goodness wow this is a really nice backwater actually it keeps on going i thought i was pretty much down to the end of it but it keeps going for a good little ways it looks like here i don't think i've ever fished this little spot Ooh, <laughs> that was nice Shot over from the side. Little large mouth. Golly. Yeah, I saw your mama in here, man. I saw your mama. That's who I'm looking for. See anything up in here? Ooh, golly, why did I say that? <laughs> that was cool. 
That fish came up and smashed it behind that grass. Wow. Jeez. Not a very big fish, but gosh. About as fun as way you can catch one that small. There we go. That was a very fun little dude to catch right there. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> that was cool. Came up and crushed it right behind this little grass patch. Right when I was talking about not seeing anything in here yet. Ooh, 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 come on. Oh, golly. Decent bass just chased out of that grass. And he saw me. And he stopped. Gosh. Dang it. Wish I had a frog again right here. Golly. Should have brought me a third rod, really. I'd love to have a frog right back in here. Looks like there's some deep grass patches right out here. I'm actually going to focus on those a little bit since I didn't get bit at all up against that bank. Yep. There we go. Ooh, nice, perfect. Another little guad. He's right on the edge of eating size. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take him. Just because I've already got the one in here. <laughs> My little tiny live well there. How do you like that? Well, that might explain why the fishing's tough, at least for a little ways up here. Maybe that's a common occurrence. People drive through the river like that. He was spraying water way up in the air. I mean, he was tearing up the, the river bed there. I'm not gonna wave at him or anything. They're idiots in my book. This deep little ribbon up here on the left is where I had my first little flurry of bites. So hopefully I can get a few more here on the way back, right before I get up there to all the people. You know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm actually gonna tie on a little prop bait real quick. I mean, this is kind of a prop bait itself, but what I mean is like a pausing prop bait. One that just floats still and you just rip rip instead of constantly reel. Since I've already thrown my whopper plopper over here, right next to me in the water golly what an idiot man hopefully he breaks something on that car and he can't do that crap anymore that's crazy why in the world would you come do that right next to somebody fishing? That is, I mean, just, that's crazy. That is just crazy rude to me. Not to mention insanely stupid. Well, I hope I get bit over here at all now. Jeez. That dude's really something there. bite right there could have been a little bluegill looks like it might have been but would have liked to have seen it up close would have liked to have held it so I can confirm Ooh, got him it was not a little perch it was a little bass nice there we go and that is another little Guadalupe that I think we're gonna eat. Let's 
see. Yep, yep, we're gonna eat that one too. We got a third little Guadalupe there in my little live well. <laughs> my little makeshift live well there. All right, so we did get another bite. Amazing. Don't pay attention while we're taking shots and the kayak drifts away. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold up! Wait! Oh, yes. Woo. Happy oh, my even open. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta drive, so. Ooh. Where the fish at? Mommy! Right here. They're so small they fit in here. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my god! Are they perch? No, no, no. They're, they look like perch. Baby they're, bass, uh, right? Yeah, they're Guadalupe oh, bass. They're looking for fishies. You know what you call that, JR? Where, 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 Your fish nuggets already, sir. Your fish nuggets. <laughs>